Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. Um, I bet you're wondering why there's a second video today. And it's that simple. Uh, I'm going to be very busy tomorrow, and I don't think I'll be able to film a video tomorrow. So, because I can't film a video for you tomorrow, you'll get a second one today. Simple. So this one is from Nexpo. Um... I was trying to remember what this one was. I was trying to remember. I was trying to find this video for a bit, and I finally found it. Uh, it's called uh, "You Dar You Slash Darley Pratt, the Reddit Stalker." And we go get right into this, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, comment, think down below. Let's go. Acquiring a stalker is truly one of the worst things that can happen to someone. No matter who you are, or how secure you might believe yourself to be, the feeling of having your every move monitored and obsessed over is extremely unnerving. I would say. While stalking often takes place in person, the rise of the internet has given birth to a new form of it, being harbored inside the very thing that we all use every single day. Back in 2017, I made a video titled, Three Reddit Posts with Disturbing Backstories. And in it, we touched on a strange Reddit account by the name of Daryl Pratt. Now, back then I was still pretty new to the YouTube game. I don't think I said Daryl. But it's Daryl Pratt. Thank you for being correct back. And my investigative skills were less than stellar to say the least. I essentially presented it to you as, here's an account, this guy is creepy, let's move on. Because of that, I wanted to circle back on him and really dive into the full story of what it was that happened. Get comfortable, because Scare Theater and I are about to take you down the rabbit hole of the Reddit stalker. Don't know who Scare Theater is, but okay, I'll trust you. I'll trust you next, bro. By the name of Daryl Pratt. Daryl Pratt? I always knew he was a Pratt. You may have heard of a YouTuber by the name of Alana Pierce. Largely known for her previous work as a host for IGN, she has since grown- Somehow, I don't actually know who this is. Uh, does she still do stuff for IGN? You guys can tell me. Um, because I actually don't know. ...own exponentially in online notoriety. This is mostly due to her down-to-earth style on her YouTube channel, her involvement with Rooster Teeth, and other online shows such as Button Bash and Save Game Online. Her self-titled YouTube channel has, since 2009, garnered over 200... Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing a look up. She still does stuff. Still makes content. As of six hours ago. <laughs> Alrighty. 140,000 subscribers with each of- It's gone up to like 560,000 now. Her videos primarily being commentary based in the field of gaming. Now, with such an online audience, a lot of supporters flock in your direction. However, so do the detractors, and in more extreme cases, even online stalkers. Alana has, in the past, shared her experiences with such people on her social media accounts, primarily Twitter. What the f- What the f- is this? What the f- is this? Who does this? What the- What type of human being is- What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with people? Don't- Don't do in this. Don't do this part. Don't ever do this. Don't, I'm serious. Don't, don't, don't do this part, is what I mean to say. 
Like, don't, don't go, don't post people. Don't go find celebrity people, females. Because I know it's mainly females. Don't go to females and threaten to rape them. Don't do that, you weird fucks. That doesn't make you cool. It doesn't give you anything. You look, you, you, you come off crazy and psychotic and you need help if you even think that's funny. Like, get a grip, would ya? Jesus Christ. And has claimed numerous times that strange comments and online harassment have been commonplace for her. In one case, for example, she highlights a message in a tweet. Sometimes young boys on Facebook send me rape threats, so I've started telling their mothers. Attached with- Don't do this. I swear to God, do not do this. This are two photos. One showing the message to the mother, and the other with her response. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Hey, Jay, I don't know you, but I was wondering if blanking out the name is your son. Yes, he is. Why? I've never spoken to him before, but he sent me a concerning message to my public Facebook page today that I was wondering if you might be interested in discussing with him. Sent him a name, and he goes, it says that. And then he says, oh my, and then her response, his mother's response is, oh my god, little shit, I'm so sorry, yes, I will talk to him. Oh my god, little shit is the most motherly response. I've seen comments say that, I agree with them, that is amazing. It's not gonna lie, it's a pretty funny way to get back at people that send insensitive comments like this, but I digress. This was just one example of many that Alana has said she's received over time. In 2015, she would begin to date an online personality by the name of Blaine Gibson. Shortly after the relationship went public, one particular comment on one of her YouTube videos would climb its way to the top of r slash nice guys for the world to see. Wow, what a surprise. She has a boyfriend. Yeah, no, I what a surprise. What a shock that a girl or a guy who like each other together. I mean, I mean, I mean, who could see that coming, right? I mean, I know you're sitting there, you're watching right now, you saw this and you were just, you were in shock. You couldn't believe it. A relationship actually happened between a girl and a guy that gets never, it's never been done before. I mean, you're all mine, your mind's exploded, you're falling on the ground, you're sitting there, you're, you're, in, you're all in corners trying to process what you're hearing, you're trying to, you're trying to figure it out in your head, I understand. But they happen. And they're okay. What type of a, what a surprise she has a, yes, yeah, she does, good job. Good, at least you're paying attention. At least we know he's paying attention to the real world. That's uh, at least somewhat. But for real, what is it with the females that underneath the constantly being a relationship? Bro. Hold on. Bro. You can't say. What is it with females that need to constantly be in a relationship then have a whole post of why you wish you were in a relationship with her? That doesn't... They don't... I'm trying to reason with a crazy man. The man, there's no... There's no crate... There's no logic in this man. Like, why can't they be single for at least a month? Fuck, I... I've been single for a few months. It's not hard, really. It's really not. I'm just gonna break some news. It's really not hard to be single. I know why most people aren't. I get it. Hell, it's sometimes it was hard for me to be single. But it is. It is possible. I watched all your videos since the beginning. I hope I can meet you one day and we can have something great. But no, you had to go and settle with the first douchebag that walked in front of you. Oh my god, that's jealousy at a whole new level. I'm pausing this a lot, but my opinions are coming out. This one just is one of those videos I've wanted to do for a while, bro. I've wanted to do this one for a while. Jesus. I bet he doesn't even tell you how beautiful and freaking hot you are every day. I bet he didn't even care about you until you opened up to him. I bet he didn't care about you until you opened up to him. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm so f I can't. Okay, hold on. But what does he mean? I bet he didn't care about you until you opened up to him. 
That's how relationships work, is it not? Am I under? Am I have a different opinion on how relationships work than these people? Do, than this guy does. Okay then. I should be apologizing this man. I cl clearly he's had some different relationships. Well, no, apparently not, because he's he can't get what he can't get one. So maybe he just doesn't know how they work. You opened up to him. I'm so fucking tired of every single woman I like having a relationship. That's it. I'm so fucking done. Here's a tactic. I got a tactic for you. He's got, I got two. I got two. Two groundbreaking, never before done tactics I want you to try, whoever you are. Number one don't go after women online. Okay? Online YouTubers, I don't go for them. Because you ain't gonna get far with them. Because you don't live near them. So they're gonna find a relationship. That's, that's number one. Okay? Number two, this is this is one. This is the big one. D don't go after women who are in relationships. I know, right? Like I'm, 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 I'm breaking some new ground here with this shit. Y'all, look, this is some new Lex that I should be hosting a dating thing with this. Listen, you couldn't find better advice than this. Maybe try those two tactics. Maybe don't go after online celebrities because they ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get nowhere with them. And, and then in the second one, the most important one, maybe don't go after people who are in relationships. And then they might help, and then you might actually stand a chance. In a stoic response, Alana claimed, I was single for over two years before I started dating Blaine. Two years? This guy's even complaining about her being dated. She was single for two years? Jesus Christ. Hold on, wait, is this her? Why is she replying to this guy is a different question I have. But she just wanted to make sure he understood. It's like, no, 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 you, you bastard. I was single for like two years before I started dating him. So he's possible to be single for a while. Now, Nice Guys is a pretty large subreddit. Currently having over 870,000 members, a post finding its way to the top here would undoubtedly have tons of eyes on it. As you might expect, People relayed this back to Alana, expressing shock and concern that someone would actually say something like this. In response to that, Alana released a video. On October 19th, 2017, an upload titled I am surprised. It's not even about, I'm just surprised this is not her number one video. On her channel. Like, that's actually shocking to me. But yeah, this is a um, interesting thing. My Stalker, My Side of the Story, would go live. And in it, she addresses the comments that we just touched on. She claimed that it sort of amused her and that it's extremely common to get comments like this thrown her way. This, however, would lead into her explaining the more extreme situation that she found herself wrapped up in regarding a Redditor by the name of Daryl Pratt. Oh, Daryl. Here comes Daryl. So, about two years ago, this guy started commenting regularly on my social feeds. I cannot pinpoint the time when that happened because I don't remember, and th there's a lot of people who do that. He started to comment regularly enough that I would recognize his name, which, for the record, was always Bruce Wayne on social media. He never used his real name when talking to me. I never had any idea who he was, he never had real profiles, it was always a person going by a fake name with a penguin as their profile picture. So it was someone that I never had any way of identifying, and I still, for anyone who has asked me, do not know his name, do not have any contact with him, don't know where he lives or his, what his number is. People have been like, hey, you should check up on him, like, you should make sure he's okay. I don't have any way of contact. What type of human beings tell someone they should check up on the stalker? No, you shouldn't. You leave the bed alone. Leave that creepy man in his own little world, wherever the hell he lives. The only thing I would say is if you know, she doesn't know who he is. So yeah, don't do any information thing on him. Just, 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 just leave him be. Just let him go into his little hole and just stay in his little hole. If you know who he is, make sure he don't live near you. If you don't, that, that, that's the only thing I'd say. If you found out, you know, he lives in... Like, say she, I don't, I, I'm just using this as an example. I don't know where she lives, right? I don't know. 
Let's say she lives in, I don't know, California. That's just my throwaway one. I don't know where she lives. I don't care. But let's say she lives in California and he lives all the way in uh, Washington. There you go. I don't know how close that is, really. But, like, you get my point. If they live, like, if he lives, like, that type of thing, then just, yeah, let him sit. Make sure he's not that. He doesn't live that. If you knew who he was by name, I'd say the only thing to check on is make sure he doesn't, like, live close by to the point you have to get concerned. Um, because online stalkers, I mean, like, if it's just via YouTube comments, they're not that really big of a deal. I had one guy on one of my other channels, my uh, Snyder and Gresson one, that commented the same weird, some weird shit on, like, my one, one of my videos. He did, like, five times, and he was the only one to comment. But they were so weird, they just didn't appear, but, like, I found out about them, uh, and deleted them. But yeah, some weird, there's some weird people in the world. They just are. As long as you don't let them, you know, thing. Now, obviously, this is going to get way more tense because he wouldn't be on here. The next part wouldn't be on if he was somewhat harmless. But all I'm just saying is, uh, yeah, she, she doesn't, I, anyone who's telling her to check up on her stalker is not clear sound of mine is what I'll say to that. Him at all. So he was just a guy who would comment on my social feeds regularly, and I didn't really think anything of it. Before the Reddit tirades by the sterile Pratt user, he would begin his antics over on YouTube with, as Alana stated, an account by the name of Bruce Wayne. If we head over to his channel, which has a picture of penguins as the profile photo, we can see that the few videos that he's uploaded to his channel involve picture compilations of various female online personalities such as I Justine, Jenna Marbles, and Kadrific. Furthermore, in his liked videos, we can see many uploads from these creators alongside quite a few by Alana herself. According to her stalker video, Bruce herself. Let's look at this here. So they're all females. We're just gonna get that out of the way. We'll understand that. You know, we got dangerous hiking. We got this one. You know, he's the the girl in question here. Thing IGN, which I think is her herself also. She does IGN stuff. I don't know why this is also here, but okay. Um, this, out of all of them, the fact that her name is there was stood out to me, and then this just stood out to me, so I had to bring it up, but like, okay. According to her stalker video, Bruce would apparently comment on each of her videos, and she eventually took notice of it. The comments then got to the point to where they were extremely overbearing. In one instance, for example, Alana had gotten her eyebrows tattooed, and apparently he didn't like it. Back when she would post videos to IGN, Hold on, she got her eyebrows what? Was tattooed, and a- Her eyebrows tattooed? No, I mean, he doesn't have a right to say anything. That just sounds weird, though. I don't know if I'd want to- I'd probably have a comment on that myself if I saw someone- Just even someone I didn't- I knew get their eye- Get their, uh, eyebrows tattooed. I would've been like, yeah, you're kind of weird. You need- that. that's weird. I wouldn't do that. That's- that sounds weird to me. I'm just gonna throw that out there, but like, you know, obviously she can do whatever she wants. I'm just saying, that's weird. Eyebrows tattoos are weird thing, because it's eyebrows, right? I'm just gonna make sure. ...overbearing. In one instance, for example, Alana had gotten her eyebrows tattooed. Yeah, her eyebrows tattooed. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird to me. Don't think I'd, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't recommend that to someone. That's, that's weird. That sounds weird. I don't, that's not a place I would think to get tattooed. And apparently he didn't like it. Back when she would post videos to IGN, people would, as you'd expect, comment nice things about her, and in response to this, he'd attack them, claiming that she'd gotten her eyebrows tattooed, as if it was something negative. As I would also say the fact that he's just commenting every person who compliments her is a little bit, that's how you stand out as a stalker, right? That's how you stand out. Um, but yeah, getting your eyebrows tattooed doesn't make you, like, unattractive. Cause she's an attractive woman. Like that's she's an attractive woman. 
She just also happens to be the attractive woman that we attractive woman that weirdly decided to get her eyebrows tattooed, which is I still I, I'm gonna keep repeating weirdly because it's weird to me. But she can do whatever she wants. Essentially, he had grown into this possessive gatekeeper for comments about her, policing what she can and cannot do to her body, and that's where she drew the line. When she eventually asked him to stop, he didn't. This ended up leading to a channel-wide block, which led. Well, no, because in his stinking stupid ass mind, now. He's like, if he does this, he's gonna end up in a relationship with you, and then he's gonna be... He's gonna be in a relationship with you, even though he doesn't want women to be in a relationship. He's a really bizarre individual. Led to him messaging her on Facebook. I mean, I don't know why you're not interested in him. His name is Bruce Wayne, apparently. So if he's Bruce Wayne, why wouldn't you want to be with him? I'm joking. I have to repeat I'm joking. In these situations. Because there's some of you that can't figure it out. also leading to a block. Afterwards, he created a new account and messaged her once more, pleading to be unbanned. But concurrently with this, Alana had a friend reach out to him, asking him to stop. When that account was banned, that is- Jesus Christ, so this guy is the type of guy who makes an account just to get his other- He made a new account just to bug her to get her, his other account unbanned. Jeez, that, that's the next level shit right there. God in hell. Is when he would take his efforts to Reddit. Oh, the most important. The, well, the place where the most reasonable people are. There was no one more reasonable, clearly, than Reddit. On May 2nd of 2016, Daryl would make his first post to the Legal Advice subreddit with the title, Can I Get In Trouble For Sending A Girl Love Letters? Now, the post back then was deleted by moderators, and using tools such as the Wayback Machine and Remove Edit didn't seem to work. But going by his other posts that we're about to get into, it's safe to say that he was probably professing his love for Alana and asking for advice about sending love letters to either her home or place of work, both of which would be equally creepy. Other editors jumped on this, asking him to speak to a psychiatrist rather than a lawyer, and telling him that if he's questioning the legality, then it's probably not fair to consider them love letters. This, among all the other advice that was given in this thread, was unfortunately thrown by the wayside. This, among all the other advice that was probably a psychiatrist rather than- Hold on. I had to go, um, put the other one on, cause... Mass. Stank. But going by his other posts that we're about to get into, it's safe to say that he was probably professing his love for Alana and asking for advice about sending love letters to either her home or place of work, both of which would be equally creepy. Other editors jumped on this, asking him to speak to a psychiatrist rather than a lawyer, yes, and telling him, Yes, you can, but your first body should be with a psychiatrist, not a lawyer. Mike, Wh Mikey Whiplash. Mike Lee Whiplash says, at this point, what you're considering whether or not to mess that if he's questioning the legal. Okay at this point, well, this is a good point. At this point, what you're considering whether or not your messages are legal, it's probably not fair to consider them love letters. Stop. Then good it's point. probably not fair to consider them love letters. This, among all the other advice that was given in this thread, was unfortunately thrown by the wayside. This is the thing. There are people who go on things like this, like, can I do this? They, they look for the validation. They want people to be like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you don't give them that, ju then you're just wrong. You're wrong. Either you agree with them or you're wrong. Everything else. No matter if you're giving them completely reasonable opinions, you're wrong. That's the way. Three years ago, this is a thought process. Current real life, everyone thinks that's way almost. Stupid. In a comment by Beeb294, he claimed... I can almost guarantee that she does not want to be your friend. If you insist on contacting her, you will likely face harassment charges. You should stop this contact and see a medical professional as soon as you can. This obsession is not healthy. Yep. Yep. This guy's saying it straight up. I'm just kidding. But I feel... Part of me wonders if this actually started the message. Or... Because... But I... But... What? This guy is in so denial 
that in his mind, she does want to be his friend, and everyone else is putting a stop to it. Like, in his mind, I guarantee you this, in his mind, he's in the right here. And Daryl, in a bit of a delusion, would respond. Thanks for the advice, but I think I'm going to keep sending letters for now. No, you won't. Don't tell you this. If she tells me to stop, I'll stop. She's told you to stop. She told you to stop, bro. She told you to stop more times than anyone else. The guy in the movie The Notebook sent like 365 letters. This is the fucking notebook, you stupid fuck. This is delusion at its ne This is next level delusion. What the hell is wrong with- This is a guy who has obsession to a new level. This is a guy who needs to be away from society. Now, if she tells me to stop, I'll stop of course. No you won't! No you absolutely will not! She has told you to stop talking to her, she's told you to stop messaging her, she's told you to stop getting away from her, and you just keep going and you're going. You don't- you, don't you- don't lie to people. Don't lie on here. Don't lie to the human race. They see through your shit, Dale. The guy in the movie The Notebook sent like 365 letters to that girl. I feel like if I send them for long enough, she realizes how much I care about her, and maybe she'll be friends with me then. This, th th this, this is why stalking is like the most dangerous, one of, is a dangerous threat. It's people like him. I don't know if he does anything to this girl. But it's danger he's dangerous. And he's only online right now, and he's still dangerous. I didn't know she didn't want those comments. She banned me without even a warning. I just wanted her to know how I made- I didn't even know she want- She didn't want those comments. She banned me without even a warning. I just wanted her to know how amazed she is. I would maybe just be friends with her online. I like send a letter just so she knows how cool she is. I don't see why this is wrong. Listen, Dale, you're beyond the point of fixed. You're beyond the point of saving here. We can't save this, this thing. People can't save you, Dale. Unfortunately, you're in, you're in too deep uh, in your own head. And she doesn't have an issue with those comments. I don't know what comments you're specific because if you're talking about, hey, you look good or whatever, she gets probably m millions of them. It's you probably was saying what she can and cannot look like, what she can or cannot wear. It's who harassing anyone who compliments her. That's where the line is crossed, bro. Amazing she is. I would do anything just to be friends with her online. She probably do anything for you not to exist. I like sending her letter just so she knows how cool she is. I don't see why this is wrong. Because you're stupid. Now, for the next few days, Daryl would go on to make quite a few replies and posts to other Redditors and subreddits, basically pleading for any sliver- Bro, look at this. I'm an 18-year-old male, and I need help getting a 26-year-old girl on the internet to like me. Please help, I'm desperate. Bro. Clearly- I, you know what, that you know what, Daryl? I would have never figured out you're desperate just by looking at these. I wouldn't have figured it out at all. ...of validation that he could scrounge up. Let's look at this one. Hold on. I don't... I mean, I don't know how else to make her like me. I thought about making a new account with a different name and following her without one and pretend to be someone else. And hopefully leave comments that she will like. But I'd rather her like me, not a fake account. Bro, she don't like you. She won't like your fake account either because you're, you, you're too... You can't resist to be someone... You can't resist doing the same shit. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the next two threads that he would make would be deleted. However, there are a couple that aren't, and they allow us to get a broader picture of the type of things that he was doing in regards to Alana. Jumping ahead, on Friday, May 6th, he'd make a post once more in the legal- Someone banned me on Facebook at making an account and pretend to be someone else. Can I get in trouble? Yeah. Led by subreddit with the title- yeah, if someone bans me on Facebook and I make another account and pretend to be someone else, can I get in trouble? Seemingly at a point of desperation, his post reads, I followed this girl on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for over a year. She's a minor celebrity. I liked and commented on everything she has posted for over a year, and I only said nice things. She replied to me a lot. Bro! <laughs> I 
watched this video in like over a year. I don't remember anything at least enough about this. I said California just as a place. I didn't even know she lived in California. Holy shit. If he would have said Washington, I would have done a celebration. How did I nail that? I didn't even mean to nail that. I swear I didn't actually know she lived in California. I just went by a guess. She looked like someone that did would. That's <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Win for <laughs> Oh my god. I'm little A win for the sniper squad. Jesus Christ, that one. Nail that. Then for no reason, she banned me from all of them. It was no reason, bro. You need to leave her alone. God damn. I've never met her, and probably never will, but her posts and replies were the best part of my day. I made another account begging her to unban me, but she just banned me from that one too with no response. She's literally the best thing in my life, so I was just going to make another account with a fake name to follow her but I compliment her in every post, so I think she will suspect it's me. So, if I only say nice things and compliment her, it can't be harassment or stalking or anything. Yes, yeah, she can. Yes, I can, because literally you not leaving her alone is stalking. That's what stalking is. Th that's what stalking is. But it, I live in Kentucky, yes. and she lives in California. I'm sorry, I had to hit pause after I heard she lives in California. I can't believe I actually nailed that. So it's not like I'll ever meet her. At this point, he's in a spot to where he can't get her to like him, he can't get her to respond to him, he was banned on multiple accounts, is unable to get support from any other Redditors, so now he's resorting to an attempt at gaining validation for catfishing her. Now, Alana isn't dumb. In her stalker video, she claimed that, while she gets odd comments all the time, she was able to pick up on his strange remarks specifically. With that in mind, it's safe to assume that no matter what he did to try to lure her in, she'd pick up on it. Okay, OP, please read my full post. While you may be enthused at this person, you are engaging in behavior that falls into the literal definition of stalking. I'm just, I don't know if this will be read at all here. Uh, so I'm just going to read this fully, and then if they repeat, repeat it, I apologize. I just want to make sure everything's read here. Okay, OP, please read my full post. While you may be enthused with this person, you are engaging behavior that falls into the literal definition of stalking. They obviously do not precipitate your feelings. You instinct to call... To continue to follow and interact with them is not going to end well for you. You do not need to physically follow the person to have follow this person to have you criminally charged. It is a serious situation. You should treat it as such. No one will assist you. No one here will assist you in the harassment of this woman. I know you are in the U.S., but I'm having difficulty finding resources in your area that can help you deal with this and move on. Please consider reading from articles. Send them an article. As the information strategy sections can help help you help yourself. Your instinct will say I'm not stalking her. It is wrong. You are. But it's psycho it a psychological issue and you should reach out to a specialist to get help to treat it. Okay. They obviously do not reciprocate your feelings. Your instinct to continue to follow and interact with them is not going to end well for you. You do not need to physically follow this person to have you criminally charged. This is a serious situation and you should treat it as such. Yeah, so I think he's just going to read the entire thing. So I didn't need to, but I just want to make sure, because there are times with Nexpo where you'll kind of, like, gloss over things. I wanted to make sure everything was read. But, I, so I apologize for that. No one here will assist you in your harassment of this woman. I know you were in the U.S., but I'm having difficulty finding resources in your area that can help you deal with this and move on. Yeah, they probably don't have uh, mental health stalking services in Kentucky. Don't sound like a place that'd be very, uh, stalker, stalker helpish. When it comes to mental health thing, because I bet you that probably one of the people I don't like stalking is a big deal. Please consider reading some articles. This guy's news name is I Hope You Die. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realized that. Um, I don't think that means anything. I just had to bring that up because my brain couldn't fathom it. Calls from here as the information and strategy sections can help you help yourself. Your instinct will say, I'm not stalking her. It is wrong. You are. It's a psychological issue and you should reach out to a specialist and get help to treat it. 
please, for your own good, please find some resources near yourself and get help before you put yourself in a situation you can't fix. This is the guy who's actually trying to save him from himself. He's like, listen, like, he's just saw this. He's like, this guy's dragging himself into a path he can't get out of. Like, I gotta get in here involved here. But he didn't. No, of course not. Oh my god, how's it terrifying that I like a girl? That's not what the terrifying part is. You're terrified. Not the not the girl, the fact you like her. You're terrified. Like Dude, listen to yourself. I think about her all day, but she won't even acknowledge me anymore. Why are you thinking about her all day, go? Like get a get a get an actual relationship. The only one getting hurt is me. I think about her all day. This bro didn't just try to play victim. The only one getting hurt here is me. Bro. <laughs> bro. But she won't even acknowledge me anymore. If I didn't like her so much, she would still reply to me. But because I'm in love with her, she won't. This is the worst feeling in the world. You might notice here that there's a shift in narrative and an inconsistency in his logic. First off, he claims that he only wants to be friends with her, but then goes forth to say that he likes her and is in love with her. Also he doesn't know how he feels because he doesn't know. He, he's kind of just not all there in his head. That's, that's the problem. Also, catfishing her wouldn't be a viable route as he'd still be pursuing her which would qualify as harassment. So what exactly is the next approach to take? Ah, pinning the blame on her. Yep. He's just uh, trying to play victim, victim game. Problem is, you 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 you've already made it, so you can't play victim here, bro. When all of this was in the midst of going down, a post was made in Ask Reddit with the title. User makes post about stalking a girl, then gets angry when other users link his post and call him a creep. Now, I want you to pay attention to the narrative shift in action here with his response. What is wrong is when a girl makes you fall in love with them and then completely crushes- When a girl ma- Bull, she ain't done nothing to your fucking ass. Don't try to play- Fuck you! I am in- I, I, This made me angry. What's wrong when a girl makes you fuck? Bro, she's making content for human beings. It ain't your fault. You're the one that just sees a human- This chick. The, saw this chick for the first time and then suddenly seemed to fall in love with her. You are weird. You are- You need mental help. Legitimate mental help. ...you by calling you a creep and banning you for no reason. You deserve to be- You should be banned from the internet then publicly humiliates you online. That's wrong, not what I did. Just so messed up. Side note here, and Alana addresses this herself, she never once called him a creep or ever called him out at all, for that matter. Anyway, now, with him pretty much against the world, he runs with this in a plethora of comments and responses over the next couple of weeks. I'm sure you get the picture at this point, but in his last four comments on his profile ever, he says this. June 7th. I was hoping to meet her before she banned me, and I would have asked her out. I love this girl more than most people love their wives or girlfriends. It makes me sick to my stomach thinking about her with another guy. I, it's, it's guys, it's, it's this situation that makes me have unbelievable sympathy for females that, can, that have to deal with shit like this. Because the justice system allows this shit. The justice system will not get involved at all. They will leave this alone. They like, well, there's not he's not a harm. Like, he's not a threat. Like, how the fuck do you look at this and not see a threat? Like, I I If you're a woman who is dealing with a stalker or has dealt with a stalker. I'm sorry you had to deal with it. Cause fucking hell. It's insa it's insane. Um there's one Twitch team, I don't remember a name who was dealing with a stalker. I think recently even. And the fucking police wouldn't still do anything. Like 
It's insane how far someone has to go before they'll deal with shit. How would you feel if your girlfriend found someone she likes more than you? That's how I feel. How the hell am I supposed to be happy about that? Don't be happy. Just get a life. Get your own girlfriend. Get an actual girlfriend, not a girl that you just see on the internet that you fix your girlfriend. Or oh, wait, no, because you ask her out. She, she's not your. Just a girl you like that you somehow now blame for your own misery that you yourself caused. June 8th. I'll most likely be dead tonight, so that should make her extremely happy. F this world. So now he's trying to. I don't know if he actually will, but this guy. So now he's trying to fucking use uh, this as sympathy gain. He wants this to gain sympathy for himself, and then people will attack her for it. That, that's what he hopes to get out of this. I, I can tell you his mindset. Extremely happy. Fuck this world. And that's it. Now, surprisingly, after his remarks pinning the stalking on Alana for, quote, making people like her, anger was actually sent her way. People seemed to get mad at her for how she handled it. But yep, see, I knew it would happen. I fucking knew it. I, these, what, how? How do you get mad at the person being stalked here? I have never understood that this is only happens with a female. This part only happens with a female. You will never see a male. You will ne I'm telling you this and you cannot put you will never see a male who has been stalked by someone who will come back when after the stalker is caught or goes away, the people will get mad at the person stalked. That won't happen. But for some reason it will happen with a female. And I fucking can't figure it out what your fucking brains are doing. I don't care that I'm swearing, sensory swearing a lot. Because it's stuff like this that messes my brain up. How do you get mad at her? She's stalked. She's the one that's being obsessively stalked over. She's done nothing wrong. I have sympathy for her. I don't have sympathy for him. Fuck him. But she addressed that by rhetorically asking the audience what they truly would have done. She went forth to say You're not supposed to be nice to your fucking stalker, fuck him. That when you explicitly tell people to stop doing something like this outright, that is the point to where they typically take a stark turn against you, creating social media accounts and such, essentially blasting you with swear words, posting Yeah, but I'll say once they're like, if you tell them to stop and then they don't stop and they keep going and they keep going and they keep going and keep going, that's no longer... Oh, you're not handling this right. This is like, dude, get a life. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Screen caps of your face and basically doing things that would make any creator extremely uncomfortable. In regards to Daryl, she went forth and stated that she's unsure of what happened to him and that she doesn't exactly like thinking about it. She believes that he potentially made yet another account and comments on her stuff, but seeing as she gets anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand comments per video, it's understandably pretty difficult to keep up with all of them. Either Daryl is truly deceased, he had an epiphany and realized that what he's doing is wrong, he got help from a professional, or is, like Alana stated, potentially still going under a different alias entirely. Speaking of different aliases, there is another user by the name of Daryl Prater V2 that some online users were able to come across on legal advice. This account only has one post and two comments though. On July 3rd, a little under a month after Daryl Pratt's last post, he asks if he can get in trouble for hugging a girl. A cosplayer that I'm in love It's in California. Yes, and yes, you could have, that's assault. That's assault, my friends. That is 100% assault. Love with this having a meetup for her fans. She said before she doesn't hug at her meetups. I just want to grab her and hold her tight for a couple of seconds. Could I get in trouble? It's going to be in LA, California. People in the comments took notice of his vernacular and username and shut him down pretty quickly. 
One thing we'd have to consider though, is that this could be anyone. It's criminally simple to make a new username on Reddit, so someone potentially could have jumped on this to do a bit of trolling. Realizing this, people called him out, and he responded in one last comment by saying that he was receiving death threats on the other account, so he switched to a new one. But, you know me, this was too open-ended for my liking. I noticed that this second username was Daryl Prater V2. Okay, what about V3? Nope, V4? Well, would you look at that. This account is completely littered with posts about the best type of gun to use if, theoretically, someone shot themselves in the head. The first post on the account was on July 22nd in the mental health subreddit and is titled, I want to see a therapist, but I'm afraid I'll be committed against my will. I'm almost positive I'm going to kill myself, but I don't want to. I don't think a therapist will help, but I want to try. But I can't miss work or I'll get fired. So if an officer drags me to an asylum, I'll lose my job. Then I'll definitely kill myself because I need my job. What can I do? In another thread posted on August 5th to the Gun subreddit, he asked, If someone shot themselves in the head with a 45 hollow point, what are the odds that they would live? When people responded with concern, he played it off as him simply writing a research paper. On August 6th, three more threads were posted to the firearms, zombies, and gun subreddits. If you were surrounded by zombies and had to shoot yourself with a 9mm or a 45, which would you pick? I have the f Yeah, that's concerning. That would be one where I'm like, yeah, that's not a research paper if you're doing surrounded by zombies. Feeling that you and I both know where this is going. So, pivoting here, I went over to perform an obituary search at Legacy.com in a long shot attempt at finding out if this was true. I entered the name as he initially had it in his first username, to no avail. Searched just Daryl, nothing. Pratt, nothing. Entered Daryl Prater like his new username and ended up finding one from August 6th, the same day that the zombies post was left on his last account. Dude, this dude's 50 years old. He's 1962. He's 1962. He can't be. That's not him. Bro. Bro. Next bro, you can't try this on me. You can't think we didn't notice 1962. The man's 50 years old. The girl, the, the dude is 18. Daryl Prater, 55, from Kentucky, on August 6th. Now, there is one small catch. The year on this states that he died in 2017, whereas his last post was on the very same day in 2016. Well, you're also ignoring the fact that guy claimed to be 15, 18. Now, it is, now, I know what you're gonna, you, you, that it is possible that the guy lied about his age. I mean, that is 100% possible. Like, the, it, it, creepy weirdos do that all the time. It's just a thing that happens. Let's, we're gonna, let's, let's be honest here. It's a thing that happens. So it's possible. But, like, eh. Yeah. Also, couldn't you find out how he died? Isn't that a thing you could get? Now, either this is an insane coincidence, or this is the Daryl Pratt that we've been following all this time. I've done quite a bit of cross-checking with other obituary websites, and they all claim that this Daryl Prater passed away in 2017. So either he waited an entire year to the day from his very last post to do this, or this simply isn't him. That, and we also have to remember that not everyone gets an obituary. He could have very well carried out what he was hinting at with Daryl Prater v4, and there might simply not be any obituaries to back it up. Nonetheless, the We also don't know if his name is Daryl Prater, like Pr Daryl Prater. We don't actually know if that's actually his name. He goes by aliases all the time. That doesn't mean that's his actual name. This coincidence is jarring, and I thought it was worth noting. There is someone else that- I don't think that's him. I don't think so. Though. So. A patron of mine by the name of Code Purple had made an interesting connection that I'd like to note. 
If we head back over to that Bruce Wayne YouTube channel that I mentioned prior, we can notice that the channel URL doesn't line up with the name of it at all. In fact, it's pretty damn unique. Our Daryl Prater here actually has a MySpace page with that same URL. And here, we can see various photos of this guy all over it. The URL lines up, the page name matches, and it seems that this, this just might be our guy. This inevitably begs the question though, what happened to him? Well, this guy looks 18, this guy doesn't look 55. So if this is our actual Daryl Prater, then clearly it's not the 55 guy, 55 year old guy. I also ended up finding a Twitter profile with the handle Daryl Prater V3. Ironically, the same name that we couldn't find on Reddit with the same face as the guy from MySpace. This account was made in 2014 though, and unfortunately has no tweets to dig into. A beacon of life that I was able to stumble upon from him, though, falls in the Battlefield game forums of all places. Here, we can find posts from a Daryl Prater V3 that are from December of 2016, and more from Daryl Prater V2 that were posted in 2017. It seems to me that he's engaging in actual ordinary conversation with other people, which leads me to believe that he just might have halted his antics regarding Alana. Daryl Prater is a surprisingly common name. While we've dug through two of them, luckily, we've seemed to find the guy. And although I wasn't able to dig up anything past January of 2017, it seems as if he's doing all right. Seeing as Alana has outright stated that he stopped attempting to contact her, it's safe to assume that he'd either gotten help or simply moved on with his life. Nonetheless, you slash Daryl Pratt will forever go down. I can't buy that he just moved on. He just, there was something that either, there, I'm going to believe something happened to him. I just don't know what. Someone like him won't do that. Someone like him don't just move on. They don't. Down in history as a creepy Reddit account. What started as an overbearing infatuation with an online personality had led to an incredibly dark online rabbit hole. While Daryl's online footprints seem to fade away after early 2017, it's, at the very least, comforting to know that he didn't snap in August of 2016, carrying out his grim plans as hinted at with Daryl Prater v4. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next- Does any- I- Okay. I'm just gonna throw this out there. If anyone has ever had an update on this guy, Please let me know. I want to know if there's any information more on this guy. This is three years ago. If there's any, anything else, I want to know. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this reaction video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. I just had a brain fall, I forgot what I was going to say, so I just repeated myself. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all for the next one.